reaction response and you can find something like that now these are the some types of chromatography that we will uh, gonna look at so these are the basic some types of chromatography and in this case we have the adsorption chromatography so the chromatography can be identified based on the different uh, procedure based on different ways to separate between uh, or best way to partition between the mobile and the stationary phase so we can partition it using the adsorption so what do you mean by adsorption in this case of solute on the surface of the stationary phase so normally it can be seen for non-ionic compounds the adsorption can be looked at the non-ionic compound because the ionic compounds do not go through the adsorption we have the ion exchange in the second place that means the attraction of ions not only the same types of ions, the opposite types of ions so the anode uh, so sorry sorry so and uh, anion and the cation so anion attracts cation cation attracts anion like that and we we can also have a solubility as a partitioning so this is not right you need to have a solubility we can also have a size exclusion we can separate molecules according to their sizes we can call it the gel filtration chromatography okay we can say differentiate molecules according to their affinity uh, towards something for example some specific reactions of antigen and antibody some antigen is specific for some some antibodies are specific for some antigens so we can use their property of the affinity of binding with each other to separate.